Hello again and welcome to Lillybrook. The, the day out is over, so I'm back on my home course. I've just had my second jab. My left arm is killing me. It's dead and it's sore. Well, I've just had a warm up in the net here behind me and it's, it's not so bad. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna look at using the tee box, using the whole tee box. Firstly, to accommodate your particular natural shape and even if you're a 28 handicapper, you will have a natural shape of some sort, no matter how inconsistent you are. Also looking at using the tee box to create angles on the golf hole, whether to make the angle greater or to straighten up the golf hole. So uh, you're going to see quite a few tee shots today from myself and my partners. And then on the back nine, I'll probably make a different type of video. So. When I get to the first tee, I'll show you my entire routine of how I set up, how I aim down the hole, and uh, it's going to be mostly voiceover rather than chatting. I'm just looking down to the first tee to see if it's clear yet. We're off in a few minutes anyway. Cheers, see you in a moment. Right, so here we go. I'm teed up on the right. I'm going to aim down the left, use the wind and the slope of the fairway. So I stand behind the ball, I pick my line, and I pick something a couple of feet in front of the ball to get lined up with. And it looks like I'm not really lined up properly here. That's a problem at the moment. Not getting lined up properly, so I've skanked this down the right hand side. That wasn't very pretty at all. Yeah. Now here comes Mike. Mike hits a draw. So he's gone to the middle of the tee here. If you look at the alignment of his feet, he's going to aim down the right side of the fairway and just hit a beautiful draw because he is an absolutely wonderful player. Yeah, he doesn't tend to get it wrong. We go to the second. Slight dog leg to the left. So Mike's teen up on the left and he's going to hit a slinging draw. Look at the, the alignment of his feet here. And there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Centre of the fairway. Now I'm going to the right. And it's not because I want to hit a fade. What I want here is a better view of the hole and to hit a straight shot. So I want to end up in exactly the same place as Mike, but I'm choosing the straight. So I'm picking my spot to aim over. In fact, we finished up about three yards apart, so uh, we both got there. I've hit it a bit low, it's come, I've hit it out of the bottom of the club. But we, as I say, we've both picked completely different shots. Now here's the fourth, the wind is into and out of the left a little bit. We all use this side of the tee so we can get a better view. And Mike just holds it up into the wind with his Have little draw. draw. Absolutely perfect. Here we see a left-hander. He's using the wind draw. to help him draw the ball. I remember his bloody name in a minute. What an idiot. Right, here's Rob. He hits a tiny little draw as well. See where his feet are aligned. Shot trace is not quite right. Shot. He did hit a tiny little draw. Absolutely perfect. And I go with a fade. So I'm using the wind. Just the same way as uh, our left-handed friend Roger did. Sorry, Roger, I forgot your name for a moment. So you see by my feet where I'm aiming. I'm aiming down the left. I'm hitting down the left and using the wind to turn it. So you can use the wind. You can use the slope of the fairway. And use the correct side of the tee to get yourself sorted out. Here's Mike on the left. Even on a par three, you can use different sides of the tee box. So Mike's going with his draw again from the left side of the tee box. 
And there we go. It's Left like side of the green. Now I see this tee shot exactly the same way. Unfortunately for me, I'm not Mike. So I don't hit it as well as Mike. So you can see I'm aiming at the right hand bunker and I'm hoping to turn this over. I just block it out wide. Here comes Rob. Now he's a drawer, but he doesn't go to the full extreme that we do. And again, his ball finishes up right next to Mike's in exactly the same place. Now the wind is into and slightly off the right, so that's why we tend to use it. We use that wind to get the ball back to the green. To the left side as well. So setting up on the tee box, you've got to take everything into account. Here's Roger, he's hitting his draw. It's just holding out there. Bangs it on the green, so he's drawing against the wind. <laughs> 